The mission of Local 103 International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, or IBEW, is a simple one, to provide the most skilled and productive workforce in the world, while at the same time protecting the rights and benefits of every worker. Local 103 members and contractors have been literally lighting the skyline of eastern Massachusetts for over a hundred years. Well, the, the history on how we got involved in renewable energies and our solar array and our wind turbine dates back to about 2000 when uh, we, we clearly saw that uh, the American public was in favor of it, um, the corporations uh, were heading in that direction, and we, we got involved for a number of reasons. Um, one, it's a, it's a renewable energy which is good for the environment, lessens the country's uh, dependency on foreign oil, uh, which in the, uh, in the long run helps American uh, industry and manufacturing. Uh, if we can lower um, the cost of a kilowatt, that makes American plants more competitive with foreign markets. And, uh, so for a number of reasons we got involved for, with renewable energies, uh, for jobs uh, in the environment, and uh, on, a, on a worldwide basis, with uh, put a basic, just war. We see uh, more and more uh, a focus being put on the Middle East, and the common denominator in many people's opinion, including ours, is uh, what's in the uh, what's in the ground, and it's it's the oil. So we got involved for a number of reasons. In our discussions with the mayor, the mayor has always been supportive of renewable energy. Um, we've 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 partnered with them. Uh, so this isn't something new. Bean Town to Green Town is, uh, is is fairly new, but our involvement uh, in renewables, along with the mayor, goes back to uh, goes back to 2000, and uh, you know, we've been going fast uh, ever since with uh, numbers of installations of renewables, uh, both here at Local 103 and or in in and around the uh, the city of Boston. So we're proud to uh, to partner with the mayor, um, and uh, look forward to uh, Bean Town to Green Town becoming larger and uh, more and more people getting on the, uh, the renewable energy train. May Menino and uh, uh, numbers of uh, meetings that we have with the mayor, uh, he's a great partner of Local 103, uh, is on uh, the same page as us for the same reasons, and we discussed uh, getting involved in renewable energies. The first, um, our first piece of renewables uh, was our solar array. Uh, Marty Aikens, uh, a business agent here at Local 103, uh, has many uh, jobs here, but one is mainly renewable energy, and uh, he spends the majority of his time on uh, renewables. He's a board member of the Mass Tech Collaborative, and we put a solar array, to the best of my knowledge, was probably the largest solar array in the city of Boston at that time in 2003. The Massachusetts Technology Collaborative is a state agency, and we were appointed to be the administrators of the state's Renewable Energy Trust Fund as a process of restructuring the electric utility industry, which was a statute passed in 1997. The Green Buildings Program, which is the one that uh, primarily tries to integrate uh, energy efficiency and renewable energy technology and facilities, operates uh, under competitive uh, grant programs. And the real goal is to try and ratchet up each round that we do, the quality of the proposals that we're getting and the familiarity of the developers and the architects and engineers with these technologies, um, their costs, their benefits, and how to actually work with them as a, well, as a building material.